Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. Uh, for, uh, I wanted to talk in this video about a long-term storage strategy. And this is something that, um, that you have to think about, especially because if you're using it as a store of value and not like a trading vehicle or gambling vehicle or as a short-term medium of exchange, uh, like saleability across distance and not time. Um, I, it's very important to know how to store your coins properly and this is a very very deep topic uh, believe it or not like securing your private key is very difficult right um, if you if for example if you just store it in software um, then you are sort of beholden to that software continuing to exist and continuing to get supported it's very possible for example for uh, you know that software to get abandoned or that company to go bankrupt so you have to be extremely careful thankfully there are standards that allow you to uh, more or less uh, you know uh, minimize your risk because you have something like uh, you know BIP 39 uh, mnemonic seeds and BIP 32 BIP 44 hierarchical deterministic wallets that means that you can store your passphrase, like 24 words or something like that, um, in something. And as long as you have that seed, there's some way to get it out, even if it's uh, your own library that you have to write. Um, certainly, most wallets uh, support uh, both those standards. So if you have a seed from Mycelium, for example, you can uh, you know, put it into the Coinomi wallet um, and, and get it back. Um, and, and that's that's one way to do it and that's that's a perfectly legitimate way but you you have to store that seed so how do you store that seed well um, this is where it gets tricky you could write it down on a piece of paper put it in your bank vault but you know it's possible that the bank goes under or gets robbed or something like that so you have to think carefully about well okay do I put a passphrase on it uh, if you put a passphrase on it then what do you do with it uh, well if you put a passphrase on it then people uh, you know, if you die, then that Bitcoin might disappear. So you have to think about, you know, estate planning and things like that. Um, you can do like multi-sig, uh, but again, multi-sig can be very tricky. Like who do you give the, give the keys to? How are they going to store their keys? Um, and how, how are you going to make sure that they, they can communicate it, with each other in the event of your death? Um, so there, there's a lot of considerations there, and you want to you want to make sure that you handle each one of those. And this is this is not a simple problem, uh, is my main point. Uh, but you know there there are protocols that help you do that. There's something called the Glacier Protocol, which is like over the top like security as far as how to make sure that your coins don't get lost and things like that. Um, it's unfortunately very cumbersome and difficult um, and it, they make it even more cumbersome to take money out so if you want some liquidity around around your coins um, that that makes it very difficult as well so a um, lot of things to consider I mean some people are just happy putting it on a Trezor wallet backing up that or putting putting the seed on a piece of paper uh, you know make sure you put like temporary evidence stickers at least so you know if a bank vault or uh, some, somebody's own uh, somebody from the bank has like uh, looked at it or something like that you can uh, you know you could put it in the uh, bank vault you can split it in uh, using Shamir or uh, hopefully in the future using music and Schnorr signatures or something like that uh, there's a lot of different ways in which this can happen but there's no one industry standard way yet uh, and this is largely due to the fact that we haven't had enough time to test all this stuff are, are is crypto steel good for 10 years well maybe but you know anyone can any, anyone with access physical access to it can more or less take your take your coin so um you know is multi-sig good yeah it could be but then you have to make sure that you choose the right multi-sig people uh i mean you you uh, might be good friends with the people that you are entrusting it with now but it may not be the case uh you know you know five years from now you know who knows what happens in the future and how do you update that how do you revoke things and things like that there, there's way too many considerations for for me to be able to say this is exactly how you should do it uh, one possible option that you can do is use check lock time verify and that's a script that you can write uh, to my knowledge there aren't really uh, any wallets that let you do this but you can do it manually 
uh, which is to lock up your coins for 10 years. You literally can't touch it. Um, and it's called off hodl for that reason. Um, and you can say, okay, you need this much time to pass and this signature in order to unlock it. And, and that's certainly something you can do. So at the very least, even if your keys get stolen, um, they can't take it right away and you just have to be the first one, um, first one to get it, uh, you know, when, when the lock time expires, something like that. But anyway, there, there's a lot of people working on this. I know Jameson Lop at Casa is trying a multi-sig hardware uh, wallet solution. Um, you know, there, there's many others that are trying to figure out custody. Um, and it's, it's more or less the same problem. You know, if you're a large institution, how do you make sure it doesn't get stolen? How do you make sure you get the right security? A lot of that will trickle down to the consumer level. Um, I'm hoping for a consumer level HSM. And an HSM is a hardware security module. Um, if you try to tamper with uh, a level three HSM, uh, you know the private key inside it will be destroyed. That's something that that could be come in very very useful. Uh, you know, especially with some sort of pin card or something like that, or multiple hardware wallets and set etc. with pins or smart cards, something like that. Uh, but yeah, the this is an unsolved problem. Certainly a great place for entrepreneurs to go if you are looking to start a business. If you can figure this out, this is a problem that a lot of people have, and they would love for you to solve it, especially as uh, as Bitcoin ages. Hopefully that helps you um, and and maybe gives you some ideas on how to hold it long term. Uh, this song is done.